Australia is the latest country to launch an inquiry into the health risks faced by women who received breast implants from the French manufacturer PIP. Some 4,500 Australian women are concerned and the Therapeutic Goods Administration will review all available information on rupture rates for the implants. One lawyer says the way may be open for the women to sue jointly in a class action. The reason for that is that we're dealing with one product most likely and also the considerable number of uh, females in Australia that are potentially affected. 72 women have already had one or both implants ruptured and it's alleged PIP, once the world number three implant maker, used industrial, not medical silicone and defective casings for the implants. The company went bankrupt in 2010. I think it's a little early to say how we're going to deal with the many thousands of patients. Uh, I think if, if these patients were to find their way back in the first instance of the surgeons that treated them, ideally they would be assessed. They may need to undergo some form of imaging. And certainly if there's evidence that those implants have ruptured or showing any sorts of leak, then there is a moral and ethical duty upon both the companies that provided uh, those implants and indeed the surgeons who conducted them to extend a helping hand to those patients. A French judge and investigators visited the company's deserted headquarters and factory in southern France on Wednesday.